Hi, what we're going to do today is we're going to install the domain controller and we're going to learn how to install the domain controller. There are some things uh, I, would, I would install uh, while the Active Directory domain services would be installing. Uh, let's discuss it along the way. Okay, let's, let's use the advanced mode installation then click next. Uh, this is for your reading. We're going to. Uh, I'm going to click next, and we're. Uh, I'm going to click uh, create a new domain, and the domain name would be mobs-bd.org, and click next. <coughs> it will ask for. Uh, it will actually look for the FQDN if it's in the web or if 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 you have a. Uh, domain purchased for yourself you can use it uh, in here also because all you have to do is change your network internet IP uh, so it will come along so <coughs> let's wait for a bit and there you go advice name came up network basic input output system domain name would be mops dash pd and uh, advice name what we're going to do is services con uh, the forest functional level it would be Windows Server 2008 and upwards click next the main functional level would be also 2008 because we, what we're going to do is we are not going for any 2003 domain services domain uh, servers and everything so what will be uh, what would we would be doing is uh, we will be installing in this network uh, only 2000 and upwards click next the DNS configuration since we don't have any DNS configurations installed I personally like to install it while I'm installing the domain services uh, because uh, if, if, if you actually try to install the domain services uh, sorry the DNS config DNS services uh, before uh, well installing the domain services it's very okay it's fine with me but some other people uh, does these things differently uh, so DNS server would be installed and this server would be the global catalog <coughs> so let's wait for a couple of, for a couple of seconds the DNS configurations would be validated yes we want to continue because we would be, we would be installing the domain services uh, some other people actually try uh, actually wants to uh, locate these file these folders and files uh, to be installed in a different location and that's a good practice that is actually a best practice uh, I would actually tell you guys to install those things in a different directory uh, if possible since I don't have uh, any other uh, partitions over here uh, I'm going to leave it that way click next password we type it okay it's also a good practice what you're actually doing and export all your work DC promo dot txt save it uh, for your later use click next now the DNS configuration would be uh, it will install the DNS installation files uh, regarding domain names naming services and everything that will actually show you that your domain server is actually uh, discoverable in your network Uh, let's go through all these things uh, I have done a couple of things that you need to see local area connections uh, DHCP is disabled this is my uh, local IP network my gateway I have a uh, router configured for uh, passing all the all the IP traffic internet traffic so uh, it's uh, only a DNS server uh, work, uh, acting as a DNS server and the default gateway is 1.1 1 .1. uh, it's in a uh, plus C network so uh, what other 
there are some other things I have already configured. Let's go through these things before uh, the, the DC promo finishes. Uh, double click on the IPv4. Here you can see my default gateway and the preferred DNS server would be this server. So, uh, no, preferred DNS server, I could also uh, put in the 120 uh, if you'd like because this will be uh, our preferred DNS server. The gateway would be this, uh, my router IP. Advanced, go to advanced, go to DNS. <coughs> Make sure they use the connections DNS suffix uh, in DNS registration. This one, this little tiny thing checked on. Uh, so, okay. Let's see how things are going backwards. Okay, so it's also installing. What I'm using is the legitimate version of Windows 2000 R2 data center. Now it's actually uh, you see the server name and the domain controller name is a, uh, it's coming in and the server services, the roles and everything. It will be updated soon. This time it's installing Okay, it's not going to work. Okay, it will. It will be. It will be showing in a couple of seconds. It will take some time. Please, please keep a track of what is actually going on here. This will actually give you some understanding that what 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 does DC promo is actually doing so no current issues detected the DNS server services is actually getting installed let's see if this thing okay uh, server manager remote management is disabled what I have done is ESC okay the Active Directory Domain Services installation wizard saying that the domain services is installed. Click on finish. Uh, no, I don't want to restart now. I'll be doing it in a couple of seconds. And the server management is disabled. Back to where we were. What I have done with ESC is off for administrators, on for users, because I will be uh, going to the internet every now and then. And one quick thing is that .NET Framework 3.1, 3.5.1, you can install these things from Windows Features. So, <coughs> uh, what 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 I did? Okay, no. Do you want to restart now? No. Okay, we will be getting getting here later on. So it's already done. It's waiting for all these things to s finish. So you cannot install Windows uh, the Notebook Framework 3.5.1 uh, manually. But what you have to do is uh, install this service uh, Notebook Framework from the features. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Bye.